Preludes and Nocturnes by Neil Gaiman. Hold on, let's get a thumbnail. Uh, oh, that's a good angle. Yeah, nice. Okay, so Preludes and Nocturnes by Neil Gaiman, which is the Sandman uh, book one. It's a comic book, if you haven't told me, I've never reviewed a comic book, except for Gravity Falls, so that was a fun one. But, of course, as you know, if you've watched that review, I'm not a big fan of comic books. I don't really enjoy the, the visual aspect of it because I feel like it takes away from the pacing and it really messes with that entire flow. But, uh, <laughs> it's a big turn of fate because I, I really like this book. I really like this book. This is an absolutely fun book. I think it's so original. It does so many things that other authors are just un able to do and I find it absolutely phenomenal that I was able to read a comic book like this and I was able to feel certain ways that I've never been able to feel you know because I've read tons of comic books I've read tons of visual novels way back in the day when I ran out of books to read and I would just go through I'd be reading like all these uh, these, these comic books that, that my friends would bring but I just could not enjoy any of them and finally we've got a comic book that I do enjoy number one of all things this is an unbelievably beautiful story like it's not it's not Plot-wise, heavy. It's not a great plot. The plot itself is probably the worst aspect, and still, it's actually like a very interesting plot. The problem is that, that is the weakest part of the book, so I am going to go ahead and mention that later on. But the first thing I want to mention it's the strongest part of the book, which is it's just like its tone, its atmosphere. It's fantastic. It's unbelievably beautiful in that respect. It's just a beautiful story. The writing itself is fantastic. The artwork is just really breathtaking in certain moments like have you seen this cover it is fantastic the story structure is really beautifully weaving it does these things where it's like it, it, it's, it introduces these plots in ways that you wouldn't really expect but they've drawn they come to like draw to the forefront of the novel or of, of the book and it's just fascinating to see these things grow to become to bloom essentially like that's the best explanation i can give because these plot lines are so unexpected the story itself you have no idea where it's going you have no clue but you're so down for the ride because of how well that these storylines are introduced, how beautifully that Neil Gaiman is actually able to interweave the stories, which is absolutely the biggest part of the book. Uh, the pros, I can't really say anything about its pros because there's so little, you know, actual words on this book. Uh, but at the same time, what words there are, they're very well thought through. It's very well edited. It's very beautifully well told story. It's, it's, I like, there's so little I could say that's at fault about its story itself. By story, I do mean like actual medium. I do think that this is a very well written story. I don't mean that the story itself is fantastic. I do think that the story itself is very good though. It, it's actually legitimately really good because it introduces this entire world, this entire mythos that just gives us a sprinkle of. And this little sprinkle is so fascinating. It brings so many awesome, elements of so many different stories into the mix and it just shows you what this world has to offer and you know how this is all tied together the storyline of this story is not particularly interesting it is very cool to see this happening but it's not like interesting it's not like a plot that i would really see myself getting invested in but the way it's told the way that these characters are shown the artwork everything pulls it together and makes it so that it was a really interesting and worthwhile read there's so little i can complain because i was just thinking about you know i really want to talk about how the character is not very well done but it's so short it's such, a, such an unbelievably short story and within this short story the character work is just as good as you'd expect i don't expect this like ancient god demon king to i don't know whatever he is he, he's the sandman man he like of course he's not gonna have a character arc during the book but this reveal of character, this this character uh, affecting the world around it, like that is what's fascinating about his character, and that's not that's a very common thing to see. And I don't think it was done particularly better than anybody else, but it was well done. Like I can tell you that the, this character itself, although it doesn't have an arc like normal characters do, which is what makes most characters really well done. Uh, in, in that respect, it's not very similar to the average character. However, it does still have that pull of that reveal of this character underneath this outside layer it just pulls you into this character in a way that i've never seen before because it's such a character that you can expand upon so deeply he's such a layered deep nuanced character that you see so much of within just these short pages i think it's 200 pages or 100 pages it's extremely short so uh what i'd recommend okay so first of all uh, I, I do rate this as three stars because this is really good like this is a really good book uh but the plot itself is very weak there's very very little to like hold it together to really make me feel like this is an epic fantasy and that's kind of what i'm hoping for in this uh, i will continue with the series eventually hopefully uh but what i do recommend is that you pick up if you if you're at all interested in this pick up one book of this if you pick up this book and you read it you will immediately know if you enjoy it or not because this is extremely based on the artwork and the story 
um, the story atmosphere itself, I feel like that's its biggest draw. And if you're not a fan of that, you can leave immediately. You will not enjoy the rest of it because that is clearly, distinctly, the most important part of this book and this entire series. So if that's not your draw, you can step out. But I found it absolutely breathtaking. That was like that pulled me in. This is why uh, Neil Gaiman is on my radar. He's he's so good at this, and this is absolutely what I find the most beautiful thing about the fantasy genre in history. This this way that you can pull aura into a book. Uh, I just find that extremely fascinating. Like you've seen before, perhaps in my Elantris review, I do compare the writing style, the aura, the the prose itself which I will combine because this is a visual novel. Uh, all of that stuff, I combined it and, and compared it to a painting. Like, do you paint in watercolor or do you paint in oil paint? Like, it's not a big problem if you go either way, but I do find that certain people prefer certain things. So it's just this different medium that affects the actual artwork so much because these two things are completely separate. The type of art you create from them is completely separate. And here we have, in my opinion, what is essentially oil painting to its greatest degree, the most beautiful medium, to me anyway, that I've ever seen, this thick, uh, this thick, beautiful, oily, just piece of artwork. And I, I love it for that, and this is why I love Gaiman, and this is why I'm probably gonna continue with Sandman. So that was a convoluted uh, video of me explaining why I love Gaiman, and essentially why I'm gonna continue with the series. So, of course, three out of five stars. Maybe you might not think that that's great, but I think that's pretty good. Three out of five means, like, I like the book, and I really wanna go on with it, because I'm very excited for the rest of the series, and I feel like this could really go up to four star, perhaps even a five star. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please hit the like button down below and let me know what you liked about the review, perhaps what you liked about the Sandman comic itself. If you want to recommend me certain things to do with the, maybe the order or whatever, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'd love all this information because I really love theory of reading books uh, quite a bit, so I'd enjoy a conversation on that. Uh, if you care about Sandman, if you care about Neil Gaiman specifically, you can go into my channel and I do have a couple of reviews of his book if you'd like to go ahead and check this out. Coraline, I know I reviewed. Good Omen, I also reviewed. And there's one more that I forget right now. The Ocean at the End of the Lane. That one's like one of my favorite books ever. So I have reviewed those books if you want to check it out on my channel. Perhaps subscribe if you care for that kind of stuff, as well as fantasy. I do a lot of fantasy. So subscribe if you care for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.